Okay, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate adding the glitch effect to a video in ClipChamp. ClipChamp is uh, a free online video editor. You can point your browser to clipchamp.com and find it there. This is the free online desktop version I'm using here. It's currently owned and operated by Microsoft.com, pardon me, by Microsoft Corporation. ClipChamp is uh, basically free, but you can purchase ClipChamp Premium through a yearly subscription, and with ClipChamp Premium, you will have access to more advanced features, okay? But anyway, back to the effect. I'm going to add the glitch effect here to today in this video. So I'm going to click the play icon now in a moment. But first, how about we just expand the preview pane, and I'm going to click the downward facing arrow on this tab here on the right. I'll click it now. And now I'm going to click the play icon. Now I'm going to click the play icon. Pardon me, under the preview pane. Okay, that's the clip, and we saw it before I added the effect. Okay, so now I'm going to click the arrow here on the tab on the right. It's facing. Upward there. I'm going to click it now. Okay. And now before I add the effect, i got to move the position indicator back to the beginning so we can watch the video with the effect at it straight from the beginning. So I can click on the position indicator and drag it back. But it'll be much faster if I simply click this left-facing arrow here under the preview pane. So I'm going to click that now. Now that moves it all the way back to the beginning, okay? Even if there were multiple clips on the video track, by clicking that, it'll bring it back to the beginning no matter what. It just goes straight back to the beginning of the video track if you click it, okay? Okay, now to add the effect, I have to select the video clip here on the video track. So to select it, I have to click it. I'm gonna click it now. Now we can tell it's selected because it's hollow. Okay, perfect. So now I'm going to move the mouse pointer to the right hand side of the screen. We can see the toolbar. I'm now going to click the effects icon on the toolbar. I'm going to click it now. And yes, none is the default option. That obviously means that no effects are added to our video. And I want you to know that when you mouse over other effects, that the effect may appear on your video, but don't worry, it will not be added until you click it. Okay. So there you go. Just click it and it will be added. So now I'm going to scroll down and click that glitch effect. Here it is here, glitch. I'm going to click it. Now it's been added to my selected clip there on the video track. When I clicked it, you can see some options appeared underneath it. Okay, perfect. We can see glitch intensity and glitch speed. If I wanted to hide those options, I could simply click this icon in the top right corner of the effect. I'm going to click it now. Now they're hidden. But I don't want to do that for the sake of this demonstration. So I'm going to click that icon again. And now they're back. So we could settle for the default options there. The default glitch intensity and the default glitch speed. But I don't want to. I'm going to click on the ball switch under glitch intensity. And I'm going to drag it a little bit to the right to increase it. Okay, to increase the intensity. And I'm going to do the same thing with glitch speed. I'm going to click the little ball switch there under glitch speed and drag it a little bit to the right. So that's neat. So now we're going to be able to watch the video with the effect added and those adjustments made. However, you don't have to adjust it. You can settle for the defaults. I just wanted to show you the creative control you have there. So now I'm going to expand the preview pane again by clicking that downward facing arrow. And now I'm going to click the play icon under the preview pane. Let's watch the video now with the effect edit and those adjustments made. So I'm going to click the play icon now. Okay, that was really cool. That's neat. Now, one final thing I'm going to show you here now. This uh, right facing arrow here on the tab here on the toolbar. I'm going to collapse the toolbar by clicking that. And now I'm going to expand the toolbar again by clicking the arrow that's now facing left, okay, on that tab on the toolbar. 
And now you can see that the glitch effect now appears next to the none there, the, the none option. I have no idea why ClipChamp's programmers programmed it to do that, but it currently does that. So if you happen to close that or pardon me, collapse that toolbar and go back and camp on the glitch effect or whichever effect you added, you may want to scroll up to the top there to see it. Okay. Well, anyway, that was the glitch effect. I added the glitch effect in ClipChamp, and I really thank you all so much for your time, and I really want to thank you all very much for watching.